Hello, Beth the Builder here. Today I'm going to show you how I carve rocks with my rotary tool. So let's do that. Okay, so carving rocks is a little bit different than carving wood just because of what they are. They're not wood. So um, in the bits that just came with my rotary tool, I had two diamond coated bits that are for hard things like glass, stone, um, metal maybe I don't know they're for various things that are hard um, and now these two are just like real stuff because you know I've used them for various things I got for Christmas like a set of I think I got like 90 bits or something of all these guys and they're all diamond coated um, and they're all different like tips and um, shapes on the top and some are rounded etc awesome so, because those two are just like wake up. Okay, so safety first with carving rocks because they're rocks. So you don't know exactly, I mean, I'm not a rock expert. I've been collecting rocks like my entire life because I don't know, I like shiny round objects. I don't know, I'm like a magpie or something. Um, I just like rocks in general. So like, <laughs> I have like a big, jar of rocks that I've collected over the years. Some of them are really cool, like I have a geode, or, you know, I've collected them from like different states and places I've been to, or I've been to Europe and I stole some rocks from Europe. So yeah, some a lot of times, like now it's been like a memento type thing of like, I went to the beach and I got this cool rock or whatever. So um, I've been collecting rocks for a long time, but that doesn't make me a rock expert. So I've scavenged now a bunch from just like my yard <laughs> because it's winter. So um, it's a little bit difficult to find good rocks, but um, you wanna be careful because some rocks can, can contain like asbestos or other things that you don't really wanna be inhaling. So I wear two masks and goggles because you don't want a rock fragment in your eyeball. And I really don't wanna like up my glasses. So um, that's the first thing I do. And then it's also better for the bits and for just keeping dust down and also getting a good carve on the rock is to carve them wet. So I have a little tray here and I fill it with water and then I have a rag inside. And then I use that to like keep the, the stone wet while I'm working on it. And it works really well actually. So, so yeah, that is what I've kind of been working on and doing. I, I think I like this maybe more than carving wood. Obviously I haven't done a ton of carving with wood, but I like how clean it is. Like you can get really clean lines in the stone because it's so hard. Um, it is really hard on bits. That's why I've like really f***ed up those two, but I mean, that's just what it is. So yeah, let's do it. I think that's all the things that I know about it. Safety, water, bits. Yeah, and you can pretty much carve friggin' anything. Like, you have to be aware of, you know, what it is. Like, you're never gonna get, I mean, it's gonna be more difficult to get like really, really fine details. Um, with some of these bits, like some of them are super, super skinny. And I didn't I didn't have these before. Like this one's so little. Look at that. It's so little. So then you can get finer detail, but I have not messed with all of these yet. I've only done a few things since Christmas um, when I got these. So, um, let's do it. A, uh, chalk pencil works really well to uh, write on both wet and dry rocks and it also comes off really really easily.
Obviously, I'm not an expert at this. I've only been doing it for, I don't know, maybe a couple months or something. So with anything, you know, practicing is a part of it and going slow and, you know, trial and error. So it's a good thing that rocks are in no short order. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mean, I think it's kind of a cool thing if you have uh, a rotor tool and you know the bits are not super expensive and uh, then you can do cool sh like this yeah like subscribe if you so feel the urge to do so um, I have all of the links in my description of where you can follow me on Pinterest and Twitter and Instagram as well as where you can support me in case you missed it I also now have an Etsy shop which the link will also be in the description and you can go check that out and follow it and like it or buy something you know it's totally up to you and um i have new videos every friday and thanks for watching <laughs>